And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. When we last left off we had provoked, well I had provoked, uh, the owner of the far, the friendly lending company which has not so friendly loaning deals, um, Lorenzo. We killed him and his guards. Um, it was self-defense after all. I mean we did provoke him but, well. It still was self-defense, I would say. Um, the good thing about that was that we... Well, um, got to loot his, his safe and... Now I've found a convenient way to store all, all our surplus items. So we will... We will go to the L.A. Boneyard, um, me thinks. We could go to the Maltese Falcon, but it will probably end with the same, uh, a similar result uh, as here in the case of the friendly lending company, because Mr. Decker, the owner of the Maltese Falcon, is a rather unfriendly fellow that tends to um, attack you out of nowhere. Okay. Um, so as I promised, we will go to the L.A. Boneyard now and hope uh, in order to get uh, a few parts that we need in order to get the power armor from the um, the one guy at the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, however, you can also found you can also find a and in fact, better version of the power armor in L.A. Boneyard itself. I don't know where. Um, shit. Okay. Um, I don't know where. Ugh. But there are some place. Um, and I don't see how they are actually standing inside this rock. Um, there's a way in which you can get the power armor directly from within the L.A. Boneyard. He is running away. Um, he is not yet. Um, that was probably a mistake because you are going to die. You are going to die right now. Yeah, the alien blaster is... I mean, this dealt 122 hit points. Of course, it was a critical hit, um, but still, um, this weapon is just amazing. And they are, in fact, <laughs> they were inside this rock, and I can't even click on their bodies. Um, that's hilarious. Okay. So the alien blaster is... Um... I think it is actually the best single-handed weapon in the game. So we were very lucky. Yeah, we should, we should better put our weapons away before we enter this area. We were very lucky to um, get the alien blaster. To find the alien blaster uh, in one of those random encounters. Of course, when we, if we had a lower. Um, if we didn't have such a high luck skill, we would not have, we probably would not have um, got this random encounter. Let us talk to Regulator, one of the guards of the Aditum. Welcome to Aditum, stranger. Watch yourself, we'll be watching you. Um, I'd like to enter. Zimmerman might have a use for you. Come inside, but remember, we are watching. Can I ask you a few questions? Uh, what do you do here? I'm one of the regulators. It's our job to keep the peace in Aditum and to protect the town. Our boss, Caleb, could tell you more. Uh, can you tell me more about L.A. Boneyard? East of us are the followers. Those are a bunch of peace nuts. East are the blades. A bunch of skags, if you ask me. Away south of here is the cathedral, where the children have their religious center. Okay. Um, 
What do you know about the children of the cathedral and the followers of the apocalypse? They are both groups of nuts. The followers want everything, want everyone to be peaceful and happy. They don't realize that the world is too harsh for that. The children have some sort of god. They worship in the cathedral to the south. They have a hospital, but they are a little too weird to be on the level. Uh, how do I get inside? Sorry, but we, have, but we have to be careful of strangers here. Too dangerous. Maybe you can do some work for Zimmerman. Welcome to edit him, stranger. Watch yourself a little bit. Just the same dialogue. Um, let's check out this uh, little hut. Oh, that's a... So there's a way in to get to the sewers. Um, I don't think we want to go to the sewers right now. Let's check, check out the surface before we go to the sewers. Um, let's loot this bookcase. Uh, let's enter this private room and hope that we'll not get kicked out. Okay, it's not in the mood for a conversation. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, these are just random random folk. Um, ah, there's some Nuka Cola, I guess. Um, you see a middle aged man in civilian clothing. What do you want? Who are you? I'm John Zimmerman, Major of Editor. What's it to you? Your guard said you had a job for me. I might. Uh, I might. Have you ever dealt with a vicious murdering band of thieves before? Hmm. What is it out here? Is there any place in the wasteland that doesn't have a gang problem? Uh, you've dealt with gangs before? Um, you could say that. Good. Then you know how ruthless and bloodthirsty they can be. The Blades are the worst of them all, I'm afraid. We are a humble, God-fearing town that is only trying to survive, and these... these monsters prey on us. He whispers under his breath, and our children. Hmm. What do you mean, prey on you? Well, the regulators keep them from attacking us outright, but it's all they can do to keep our little community safe. They try to sneak in at night to kill our citizens or to to kidnap our children. And he stops for a moment to compose himself before continuing. Just last week, one of them burst through the north gate in the middle of the night with dynamite strapped to his body to blow up the regulators' barracks. No doubt to weaken us enough that they could launch a full-scale attack. What happened to him? Luckily... The regulators killed him before he could complete his plan. I saw his body myself. So you didn't actually see this guy run into your town with dynamite strapped to his body? It was the middle of the night, as I told you. I was asleep. Luckily, the regulators usually catch these barbarians before they even make it inside our town. Hmm. That's pretty lucky. Pretty convenient too. I think that these... Regulators, regulators are more than what they seem. What would be convenient? What would be convenient would be to put an end to their foulness once and for all. Let me guess. You want them dead? I'll give you two thousand camps to kill their leader. I want that bitch's head. Hmm. You seem to have something personal against her. She had my son kidnapped. Tortured and killed. 
they left him impaled on a post right outside the gates. Hmm. Those sick bastards. I'll take the job. Thank the gods. Finally, my son shall be avenged. The blades camp is to the north of here. Come back when you've done your job. Hmm. This, so, this still sound, sounds a bit... I mean, I don't fully believe him. I don't, I don't fully believe him. Um, hmm. I think we, sh we need to do some investigation. Um, you see a thin man in a white smock. I don't believe we've met. I'm Miles. What can I do for you? That smock, mocks, blah, that smock makes you look like a scientist. What are you studying? I'm a chemist, mostly. I'm a primer and powder so that we can reuse the brass casings from the bullets. But I can also dabble with some other chemicals. Hmm. Where do you get the sulfur, potassium nitrate and other chemicals? It's unusual to find someone who can appreciate chemistry. But to answer your questions, some of the material we get from the hub, we get from the hub merchants. Others I manufacture or just find it in the area. For instance, the dung heaps from the Brahmin are a good source, as well as some of the strains from the fungus that I cultivate. What other chemicals do you work with? Well, I've been trying to get some strong acids so that Smitty can use them for etching. I also have been trying to make some permanent, permanent dyes and inks, but without natural access, access to natural inks, it's difficult. Hmm. Um. Thanks for the information. So this guy needs inks, apparently. Um, also, who was this guy, Smitty? I think we just... Okay, I have a very, I have a very bad memory, but I think we just talked to someone by the name of Smitty. But not here. I think it was in the hub, actually. You see a stern man in his 30s. Let us talk to him. I'm sure um, he will provide some interesting information. Good day. May I be of some assistance? You have the look of someone important. I'm Caleb. I train and organize the regulators here. What's the history behind the regulators? We are the police force for Aditum. Most folks around here know enough not to cause any trouble. I'm in charge of training the regulators and making sure that the skags are working hard enough and that no one moves in on us here. Anything else? What can you tell me what's going on here in LA Boneyard? Yeah, I guess. You got the blades up north, a pretty pathetic herd of people. And the gun runners a little north and away to the east to the Deathclaw playground. Also, a ways to the south of here, you have the children of the cathedral who run a hospital, hospital and a big church. Up a little bit to the north and to the east, you got the loony followers of the apocalypse who are, the, who are all peace types. Tell me more about the children and the followers. Well, the children of the cathedral all live in this big block church type building. They have some sort of big guard and they go around trying to convert people to their cult. Hmm. And the followers? Hmm. You're not going to tell me about the followers then, okay. What can you tell me about Adam? Nice enough town. Me and the regulators work hard to keep it that way. Anyone in particular you want to know about? Who runs Aditum? Aditum here is run by John Zimmerman. He is an upright fellow, 
takes good care of the town. Should go and see him. Anything else? Um, tell me again about Aditum. Who does trading here? Tyne runs a shop over near the gates. It's down below the little bunker. He does all the trading with the hub and with outsiders like you. Anything else? Uh, I don't think at the moment. Okay. And when we come back, folks, we will try to find out what's going on here in LA Boneyard. And whether the... Um, it is really true um, what Zimmerman has said about um, this gang up to the north. Um, yeah. So until next time, folks, until then.